Oh, hello there, and welcome to another round's 400th episode. Now, usually at this point in these specials, and it's crazy enough that I can say specials, plural, I say stuff like, wow, what a journey it's been, my God, 400 episodes, I could not have done any of it without you, which is all true but you've heard it many, many times. So to show my appreciation for all the faithful subscribers who have stuck with me since the beginning, I thought I would show you my torment in the form of diving into six of the most disgusting cocktails on earth. And quickly before I get started, I have shouted out YouTube channels on this channel before, like Fantastic Dreamland. And I would like to do that once again with an awesome YouTube channel by the name of Cocktails and Consoles. If you enjoy cocktail recipes, chill let's plays, and endless amounts of live streams, you will love cocktails and consoles. The host Melissa has been a huge supporter of the Another Round channel. She is an inspiration, and the description of her channel says it's like watching Julia Child play Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I mean, how do you not love that? So that being said, I highly suggest you go check out cocktails and consoles, and Melissa, these drinks are for you. <laughs> I haven't been able to stop laughing since I made this monstrosity. Look at it! I'm just not a Jaeger man. I didn't do a lot of Jaeger bombs back in my younger days, and I just I haven't had it in a long time. I am a mayonnaise man, though. Because, you know, a sandwich ain't a sandwich without the tangy zip of Hellman's. Here we go. First trick of the night. Bottoms up. Oh, my sweet God. Oh, it was just like a slimy... It was like a giant slimy booger. Ah, I mean, obviously, it could have been worse because, you know, it's a shot. You're just doing it in one go. I didn't really have to taste the hideous mixture of mayonnaise and Jaeger, for God's sakes. But, um, hey, I'm doing this so you don't have to. <laughs> Let's keep this shot train rolling with a cement mixer. You do a shot of Bailey's shot of lime juice. Sounds innocent enough. I think I've even had one of these a long time ago, but I didn't vigorously shake my head up enough. That's right, you gotta vigorously shake your head up. The idea is that the Bailey's will curdle while mixed with the lime juice, and they say it's gonna be disgusting, but how bad could it be? Here we go, they say Bailey's first and then the lime juice, so wish me luck. Ah, I get it now. I get it now. Oh my god. They, the descriptions of this said it's gonna coat your tongue and your taste buds and your molars and That's not good. That is that's just bad Baileys. That's just sour Expired Baileys. When does this expire? Oh when mixed with lime juice. That makes sense. Oh good lord Would I say it's worse than the smoker's cough? I don't know because again that was just a big slimy booger going down your throat and this was just like sour milk stuff so when it comes to the shot train I think this is my stop <laughs> Well, gang, it would appear that we're not done with the shot train because I was under the impression that this was a drink and not a shot, but um, I'm not too disappointed. You ever gone to the keg or maybe the Outback Steakhouse and said, I'll take a ribeye to go in a glass? Yeah, me neither, because it's not supposed to be what they call it a liquid steak because it's supposed to taste like steak. I mean, how could that be with rum and worse? Here we go. Let's hope it's good, like medium rare, not a waste, like well done. Oh, 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 that was not terrible. In all seriousness, I would order that over, especially those two, obviously, but even over other shots that are out there. Like, you ever had Screech? Ah, <laughs> all right. Surprise, surprise. That's the halfway point. Let's keep this train rolling. I'm done with the whistle, though. <laughs> No. Just lovingly concocted in the, the, you know, the original, in the original ancient recipe fashion of half a beer and half a, it's already curdling, oh, it's chunking! It's beer and milk, all right? And it may look innocent enough to you right now, but there's just chunks at the top and it's a yellowish, 
uh, milk. What I've decided to mix is a steam whistle beer because I have such loving memories of steam whistle because I go to the Winter Craft Beer Festival that they host every year. And I've also got a, uh, milk to just crap on those loving memories, you know? Before I do this, just let me stall a little more. I've had milk stouts, you know, they're delicious. I've had milk beers, like Tom Green had a milk beer and it was actually really delicious. And I love beers that taste like chocolate milk, but this is chunks. All right, we all know why we're here. Let's just get this over with. Oh, as soon as it hits your lips, it's so bad. That is just chunky rotten milk. You can taste the beer ever so slightly, but it's chunky rotten milk. I was never a milk kid, unless I went to my friend's house because they force fed me milk because apparently it's good for strong bones. Listen, before 10 years old, I was a beer kid. What do you want from me? Why don't you get off my little kid back? It wasn't worth the bit. Why, why is it so shiny and, and sheen and like spilling it? Oh, it's the plastic covering, okay. Ew! <laughs> oh no. For the love of God! An infected whitehead. Are you kidding me? Who comes up with these? I don't care about the name. I don't care about most of the ingredients, but who comes up with the cottage cheese portion? I don't want to drink that. I don't, I don't eat cottage cheese. I, I love a, a good Caesar or Bloody Mary, so that's fine, but the cottage cheese... I don't even, oh my god, I don't even know, oh my god. <laughs> like I think I said, I'm doing this so you don't have to, and promise me, promise me, don't ever do this. Unless you like cottage cheese and tomato, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, luckily the tomato juice overpowers it, but it's the chunks and the aftertaste of the cottage cheese, oh my god. What is cottage cheese for? <laughs> I never actually bought a tub, and I had to buy a whole tub! Still, if you ask me so far, I mean, we're reaching the end, we're on to our, our last drink after this. I'm saying right now the worst is the uh, smoker's cough, the mayonnaise and the Jaeger, because, ah! Jaeger! I take that back. If I had a choice between drinking a shot of goddamn Jaeger with a teaspoon of mayonnaise in it, I think I might do that over vodka, tomato juice, and goddamn cottage cheese! Never again! Um, it, no, it wasn't worth the last bit. It's not worth another one. Boy, I tell you, folks. Doing a whole episode about drinking the six grossest cocktails on Earth, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I looked at the, list, the recipes just to buy the ingredients, and I tell you, never in my life did I think I would see a carton of eggs on a goddamn bar. And think it was for a drink. Now, as you saw, what we have here is called the Prairie Oyster. There's actually multiple ways to make this drink, uh, but the way I chose to make it was bourbon, Tabasco, and a raw egg, which is actually becoming quite beautiful because the egg whites and the, the egg, you know, yolk, has broken, so it's all mixing, but you see the lines of it separating from the bourbon and the Tabasco. It's beautiful. I bet it tastes the, uh, just as. That's right, I went out and bought Jim Beam, some of the greatest, Jim Beam, some of the greatest bourbon on the market, he said, trying to sound like he knows a damn thing about bourbon, just to waste a precious shot of it in this disgusting drink. And this being the sixth of the six grossest cocktails Known to man, maybe there's others. Actually, there are others, but I wasn't gonna touch those with a god. You can't you? But that is enough rambling and postponing. I just want to say thank you one more time for helping me get to this 400th moment. Um, hopefully, <laughs> this is gonna be a one time moment. All I can say is thank you for watching and cheers. Everyone, raise your prairie oysters and let's do this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That almost didn't touch my tongue because the egg just slid down my throat, but did it touch my tongue? Yeah! Oh, that that raw egg really hits you in the in the throat. That is a lingering feeling and taste. Ooh, don't do it. Don't do any of these drinks I've ever done. If someone, if you lose a bet and someone's like, ah, you gotta drink one of the grossest, 
uh, shots or drinks of all time. Do the Jaeger and mayonnaise. Going into this, I did not think I would say that. The looking at oh oh my god no it's getting worse the aftertaste is getting worse ah one more time thanks for all the support thanks for getting me to the forums video I'm never doing this again remember pouring that shot. I mean, my stomach kind of hurts from the combination of bourbon, vodka, white rum, Jaeger, Bailey's, milk, mayonnaise, tomato juice, raw egg, Tabasco, cottage cheese, and we cha, -cha, cha sauce. But what bad ever came from someone doing one more shot? <laughs> hmm. It smells to me like absolutely nothing is wrong with this. Uh-oh.